this video I want to look at how to create a core and cavity of a model. Um, so we need to have shrinkage. So here's an example, um, just a um, sort of hollowed part with a hole in the bottom. So um, if we start by creating a new file, then I'm going to create a part file. And the first step in creating the cavity is to um, switch to ordered as this keeps our part copy as a live link part so we come up here go part copy and we choose the file that we started with and we go OK and we get our options come up so um, we want to copy as a construction and um, we also want to add shrinkage. So we want 2% shrinkage on this, so that will be 0.02. And go apply. OK, so you can see that we've got the um, part as a construction. So for the cavity, um, we can't just subtract this from a block because we've got holes in here. So the first step is to go into surfacing and we'll do a copy surface, change it to a chain, click on the outside and right mouse click to accept, go finish. So if I hide my original part copy, um, we just end up with the outside skin, still have a hole. Um, so I'm just going to use the bounded surface command, click on the top and right mouse click to accept it and likewise I'll do the same with the hole at the bottom. So we've got three um, surfaces which are not connected so we need to go to the stitch command just choose the options there then select everything and that um, converts everything into a sort of solid so it warns me that I could make this the base feature if I wanted to. Um, I still want to use this as a construction, so I'll say no. And um, that leaves me with a construction body which is shown in purple. So from here, um, we need to create our block. So if we go back and create an extrusion, I'm going to go for a parallel plane. From there, and using my key points, I'm just going to snap to the top edge because that's going to be my um, parting line, as it were. So from here, um, I'm going to go rectangle by two points. And somewhere out here, and just to get the two parts positioned correctly, I'm going to go and make that 130. And to the edge there, I'll make that 35. So once we've done that, we can close our sketch. And we need to just drag that down to, um, so obviously we're sort of coming down to, um, a point down here somewhere. Change my options. So we get a midpoint. I know it's going to be at least 152.8. So um, I'm going to come down 170. So that creates my um, die block. Um, so from here, we just need to go into our Boolean options. Do a subtract um, part that we want to work on, accept that, the part that we want to subtract, and what we end up with is the cavity. So going for the core, um, again isometric part. So again we need to switch to ordered. And do our part copy on the same part. 
again we'll copy as construction and disable the shrinkage as you'll see it just gets slightly larger so um, this time around we're looking at doing a copy surface on the inside so um, this time around um, we're going to sort of leave the hole here so we'll add that in as well and finish so if we hide our original copy we'll do a um, rounded surface for that create that second one and like we did before we'll do a stitched include all of that and then what we'll do is we'll do a um, protrusion as we did before with a parallel plane coming up to this key point here and we'll keep those sizes the same so we'll go from here to here and that was 35 40 on height, measurement from here was um, 30, and we're going to make it 200 wide, so we can close our sketch, and this time I want to come up, say 20 mil. So if we um, rotate that around, you can see that we've got the um, surface body sitting on top of our block. So using these Boolean commands again, we're going to do a union. So pick the solid and the surface. And what we end up with is um, a cavity. Uh, yeah, a cavity. Sorry, a core um, to sit within the two. So you can then sort of add them two together. Um, because we've done it in um, ordered, it will carry across that um, part. So any changes made to the part and you open these up, it will update automatically.